Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. Today, we are going to be checking out our new toy. So in our last episode, we went on a $20 million spending spree. It was probably closer to 25. And uh, we have a bunch of new toys down here in the garage. You guys can see the uh, Phantom Wedge, the Rocket Voltic, the Ramp Car, and then this thing over here. I don't even remember what its name was. But let's check this thing out first. I, I want to go through, I want to see what these things do, because I have no clue. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see it as well. This is the Imponte Ruiner 2000 muscle car. Okay. So what's the special ability or special feature or what does this thing do? Does it just look cool? Oh, it's got rockets. Whoa! It's got jumps, too! Are you kidding me? And it's got a parachute? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is so sick. Alright, how do we fire? Left, L1. No way. This is insane, and we can switch between homing missiles as well as regular missiles, as well as, uh... Oh my gosh! The machine gun and whatever else we have. Dude, this thing is insane! Go ahead and take out the cops from a distance, baby! It even shoots up and then traces them, so it doesn't go straight at them to where it would potentially blow you up. No way, dude. No freaking way. All right. I kind of want to take this off a big jump. Here we go. Hello. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts. I wasn't sure what this... I knew it was from a movie. I still don't know what movie it's from. I knew it was from a movie. But I wasn't really understanding entirely how epic this thing is. And now I get it. Because you can, I mean, you can go pretty much anywhere. I wish our, our wheel wasn't messed up. I'm just kind of messed up here, but... I mean, there's nothing you can't do. There's nothing these cops are going to be able to do to us. Gotcha. Fun taking them out. There's definitely a... Oh, no. I think we're out of rockets. We're either out or there's a cooldown time or the car's on fire and it's it's not letting us it's not letting us leave the vehicle. Oh now we're getting out. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. That thing is absolutely nuts. I don't think we're ever gonna be able to actually use that in a race, but that was incredibly fun. I was not expecting it to be anything like that. Alright, so um, that thing is down. Now it's time. What do you guys want to check out? Let's um Let's check out the amphibious ATV, just because it sounds crazy. This thing is actually pretty quick. I don't really use the ATVs too much, but it feels quick here. We want to go over to the... Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Nice. I guess, I guess we can do this. I can't tell if we're in water mode right now or in ATV mode, because it's going kind of slow. But we're going to follow the, uh, the river here. Out into the bay if we can. Oh gosh. Nice. Well, we did the jump, but we didn't actually want to do that. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head back down. Woo! We made it, boys. We wanna get to a deep area. We wanna get out to sea and see what this thing can do. This, I mean, it's a cool idea. This would be fun for, for different types of races, for sure. Okay, so we slow down a lot. Is there a button you have to press? No, we don't want that. I'm trying to see if there's a button we should press. This is definitely, I mean, we're in deep water. So, is this just, is this what it does? I guess this is what it does. <laughs> Not really anything too exciting, but, um, I mean, if you wanted an ATV where you could... Go on road or on water, I guess this is going to get it done for you. It's a lot slower than I anticipated. It's slower than the, uh, the jet skis. But the cool thing is you can come up. 
and then go back down. Come up. That is pretty sick. Honestly, I mean, it's not... It's not quite a rocket car that can jump and has parachutes and all kinds of stuff like that, but... It's fast. I wish it was this fast. If it was this fast on water, it'd be totally worth it. But, um... I don't know. It's, it's nothing too crazy. Alright, so we need to get back up top here. Yes! Oh my gosh, this thing's actually pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is the fastest ATV I've used in this... This series. I've got a feeling there might be a button you could press to switch it over to amphibious mode, but... Like, I don't know if the tires would fold up and maybe you could go a little bit faster. Hopefully you can. I don't know. We got the idea. There's nothing really too insane on that front. It's just a, uh, a universal ATV. All right, next up. What do we do next, dude? Oh my gosh. So many toys to check out. Let's check out the rocket thing because these two are kind of related. The ramp car sends cars flying. I'm not sure what the Phantom Wedge does. I'm assuming it does kind of the same thing. I don't know, though. So we're going to check out the rocket Voltic. So if you guys don't know, the Voltic is based off of the Tesla Roadster, which was Tesla's first car. And it was a little two-seater electric car. So, I'm sure you guys see the irony in taking a two-seater electric car and, and putting a jet engine in it. You take something that doesn't use any fuel and put it in something that uses all of the fuel. So how do we use this? There has to be like a crazy jet mode. Oh God! Are you serious? There's a cooldown time on it. Gotta let it warm back up. All right, we're gonna hold it down this time. Woo! Oh, so you can't, I was thinking that you'd be able to hold it down and keep it like that for a while, but I don't think you can. I think it's just a, a one click and done. It lasts for like two seconds. And that's it. That'd be useful for jumps, though, if you could time it right. This thing would be fun to race in. I don't think any of these cars were ever going to be able to race in, which kind of disappoints me a little bit. Let's try to find a spot to use this thing. I'm going to turn around and head back towards our warehouse. Let's see if we can find a good spot to launch this rocket off of. Like right here. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh, we landed on top of somebody. We kept together, though. We're good. Oh, and then that guy gets us. Dude, this is pretty insane, though. I mean, I like it. It's a lot of fun. I was hoping we were to be able to go into freaking hyper flight mode and just burn this fuel forever, though. Unfortunately, it only lasts for a couple of seconds. I'm looking for an actual ramp. I can't really think of any around here right now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's it's... A jet engine on the back of a Tesla. That's pretty awesome. There's no way to not make that awesome. That's good stuff. Oh, we, oh, down in here, dude. 100%. Ron, be quiet. Where was that, uh, the ramp we just took the ATV off of? I think it was over here. Oh, this is going to be insane, boys. not work as anticipated we're gonna get out of here though we're good we can do it we can do it. oh we're gonna we're gonna go for round two you guys best believe it this thing is pretty quick in itself like without the um the jet boost obviously the jet boost makes a pretty big difference though gosh up into outer space we go where are we gonna land in the middle of the lake <laughs> no way dude look how far we just went that is absolutely amazing all right next up the phantom wedge how convenient was it for them to leave this giant military helicopter for us to get back to our uh our garage very nice of them. All right. We're off, boys. Let me get back to our vehicle warehouse. We've got two left. Phantom Wedge and the ramp car. The ramp car I'm just really excited about because I love... If 
Fast and Furious. Uh, oh, we don't want that. We want... I don't think we're going the right way. Vehicle Warehouse. Yeah. I was going to say, I was not set up right, but I love the Fast and the Furious. So that's why I'm saving it for last. I'm hoping it's pretty cool. We'll see what happens. But um, The Phantom Wedge looks like it's going to be epic as well. What they need is the Phantom Wedge with the Rocket Voltic mixed. So, like, have a jet engine semi. Have you guys ever seen those at, like, tractor, tractor pull events and stuff like that? They're pretty cool. But that would be epic. We're gonna go ahead and slide on around this way. And this is not good. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, we may have just saved it. Bob Ross saved, baby! Gonna bring us right into the front door! Oh! <laughs> Alright. Still a pretty good look there. Still a, a nice little landing. We we're coming in pretty hot. Howdy, McTotty. All right, here we go. Let's do it, boys. Two toys left to check out. I'm excited. These are my two I've, I've most been looking forward to. Honestly, my favorite so far is easily that first one, though. The rocket car with the jumps and the parachute. Like, nothing is going to beat that, I don't think. That is so cool. And I wasn't even, like, I wasn't sure what I was getting into with that thing. When we were starting this episode, that was the one I wasn't looking forward to checking out. Because I didn't think it was going to be that epic. But uh, it's easily the best one out of the bunch. And it definitely deserves the biggest price tag. Alright, the Phantom Wedge. The legendary Phantom Wedge. Did that say V12 Supercharged? I'm pretty sure it did. The Joe Built Phantom Wedge Commercial Vehicle. So this is just going to plow the way. Get everybody the heck out of my way. And it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Just pure chaos, dude. Yep. Get out of my way. Doesn't even slow you down. Does not even slow... Look at this big truck here. Nope. See ya. Bye. Sayonara. It slows you down a very limited amount. I'll take that back. Because it does a little bit. But you can j I mean, look at this destruction! <laughs> See ya! I kinda wanna get out, like, on the highway where there's a ton of traffic. I don't know if there's a ton of traffic out there, though. This is insane, dude. Oh! Landed it! Who wants- it? oh, we can go down the highway? Oh. There's an actual player down there. Let's take her for a ride, boys. Ah, oh, dang it. Fail. Go around this way. Woo! Now they're gonna be hitting us with- Oh my gosh, we almost launched them up on top of the thing. They're gonna be hitting us with speed. This is amazing, dude. We're smoking a little bit. I'm worried about that. Do we take damage every single time we hit a car? <laughs> no way, dude. This is absolutely nuts. All right, we're gonna turn this thing on around. We're gonna take it back down the other way because we've gotta head back towards our vehicle warehouse. We're gonna check out the ramp car. All right, so I'm assuming the ramp car is gonna work kind of like this. It's just not gonna be. Oh, we died. It's on fire. 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 Oh! She's gonna blow. Will she blow up? I'm not even sure since it's so big. Not sure how that's gonna work. Anyway, just gonna take this. Uh, take this sedan. Bit of a downgrade, but um, that's all right. We're gonna head back to... We're gonna head back to our garage. Our underground warehouse garage, and we are gonna see what we have next for the ramp car. Hopefully it's uh, just as good, if not better. I don't know, that's gonna be tough to beat in terms of destruction and just pure chaos. Looks like the Phantom Wedge is the way to go. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys in a sec. The Chosen One. 
Let's see what this thing is all about, guys. Here we go. Oh my gosh. This is very true to what it looked like in Fast and Furious. Holy cow, this is gonna be awesome. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully we save the best for last. Yo, homie, how you like my ride? Can it ramp people? <laughs> I guess it can, okay. Let's see what this is about. Whoa! No way! No way, dude! What about this big truck? <laughs> if you hit him with speed, obviously they're gonna go flying farther. Woo! That is absolutely nuts. Even slow speed, you just you glide under him. See ya, bud! No way, dude. There's no, like, hesitation at all. Like, you glide through him like a hot knife through butter. See ya! Did he seriously just land that? Hold on, we gotta come at him from a, a different angle. He's gonna be coming towards us, and we're gonna... Oh, he stopped at a red light. Little homie keeps landing. Dude, we gotta get to the highway. Oh, look what it looks like inside. This is pretty sick. It's a new challenge going on. Let's, um, let's head over to the highway. I would love to hit a motorcycle on the highway that's doing highway speeds coming at us. And then, obviously, he gets launched into the atmosphere. Okay, so hitting people, it's the same. There's not really a big difference for hitting people. I also will say it doesn't look like we're taking as much damage as we were with the Phantom Wedge. Okay, so we've got to get up on this highway. Shoot. This is not... I can't believe it works as well as it does. I wish we had the Vulcan, the Rocket Voltic for that jump right there. That would have been sick. Whoa! Oh! No way, dude. This is too much fun. This is fantastic. All right, let's get up. Oh, we are taking damage. Let's get up a lot of speed and try to take out a motorcyclist. That stinks that these cars take damage. I don't know that I like that. We're looking for motorcyclists. I'm not seeing any. We could potentially just take out a car at this speed, too. I mean, they're gonna go flying. Woo! I wanna get a motorcyclist, though. I don't know if you, I normally see too many motorcyclists on the highway, though. A motorcyclist would go insane, bro. I just love if I accidentally hit another car, they just go flying off to the side. It's not on me. See ya. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna find a motorcyclist, man. Maybe we should go for a Mini Cooper? Something small, or something downhill. We're going for this thing. Woo! Let's just start going for everything we can hit. Can we go over the other lane? We're hitting everything. Oh my gosh, we just lost our engine. All right. Well, I think there's only one way to say goodbye. Just blow her up. <laughs> okay, that was... That was kind of disturbing and also unintentional. Oh my god. We just killed two people. I didn't even mean to, to be honest. This car is gonna blow up now. Look at this. This is like Final Destination, bro. Her car is gonna blow up and set that other car on fire. Is that person dead? That person died too, and he's on fire. That is insane. Oh my god, and then the firefighters got it. Did one of the firefighters just die? I don't think so, but this lady's burned to a crisp. 
Holy cow, I feel kind of bad about that. It wasn't my intention, though. So, anyway, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GTA Online. I had a lot of fun. And um, I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.